Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. With modern day technology, today's consumer wants and expects instant gratification. When it comes to amenities like hot water during RV camping trips, consumer expectation is high too. Most conventional RV water heaters can't keep up with the rigorous demand a family of four has after a full day of activities. That's where the Suburban IW60 on-demand water heater comes in, offering an unlimited supply of hot water within seconds. Suburban is recognized as the industry's leader in water heater technology, and you'll see why after I demonstrate the features and benefits and the operation of the IW60 on-demand water heater. Let's get started right now. After extensive field research and development, the Suburban IW60 on-demand water heater was developed. Suburban didn't just manufacture a state-of-the-art on-demand water heater for RVs, they manufactured an industry-best on-demand water heater for RVs. The IW60 on-demand water heater features 60,000 BTU output, built-in freeze protection standard on all models, state-of-the-art three-try direct spark ignition for safety and reliability, installs with or without a door. Most noteworthy, the IW60 features Suburban's exclusive and technologically superior two-stage modulating combustion system, or MCS. The MCS monitors inlet water temperature, gallons per minute of water flow, outlet water temperature. And with this information, it automatically adjusts the LP gas input to virtually eliminate temperature fluctuations even with additional water usage. The bottom line is all of these industry best features result in the user experiencing the best on-demand water heater the industry has to offer with an almost instant and endless supply of hot water whenever you want or need it. Now let's take a look at how the Suburban IW60 on-demand water heater operates from the time you open the hot water faucet until the water goes down the drain. IW60 on-demand water heater sequence of operation. The IW60 on-demand water heater can be used with one of two controls. An on-off switch with the light, which is standard, or an optional on-demand control center. There are dip switches located on the circuit board inside of the water heater that control the maximum water temperature. The dip switch settings in degrees Fahrenheit are 108, 120, 125, and 130. It is preset at 120 degrees. If the on-off switch is used, the water heater will maintain the dip switch temperature setting while in use. The optional on-demand control center will override the dip switch setting. The water heater will maintain the setting shown on the thermostat while in use. The thermostat can be adjusted in 1 degree increments from 95 degrees to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. When additional water fixtures in the RV are used, hot or cold, the water temperature will drop slightly and will recover to the set temperature in approximately 5 seconds. The actual water temperature at the faucet will be less than the water temperature at the water heater. This temperature is determined by the length and routing of the hot water lines going to the faucet. For this demonstration, the inlet water temperature was chilled to 43 degrees to reiterate the efficiency of the modulating combustion system and the IW60 on-demand water heater. Turning on a hot water faucet activates the IW60 on-demand water heater. The water heater senses the flow of water. The water heater proves that the combustion air fan is working. The combustion chamber is then purged of any remaining raw gas, then it will ignite the burner and prove the flame. 
The approximate time to ignition after turning on the faucet is seven seconds. The flow of hot water at the set point begins three seconds after ignition, but will not reach the faucet until the hot water lines leading to the faucet are cleared of any remaining water. This time is determined by the length of the hot water line. When the hot water faucet is turned off, the water heater shuts down and will remain in a ready state until hot water is called for again. If the on-off switch or thermostat are left in the on position, no further action is required by the user. If the water heater fails to light for any reason, it will automatically attempt to light a second and third time. It will then go into a lockout mode and will not try to light the burner until the switch is turned off and back on again. Air in the gas line after changing a LP gas cylinder is the main reason for not lighting the burner. It's a good idea to light a range burner inside the RV after changing a LP gas cylinder to help purge the air from the system. The on-demand control center is more than just a thermostat. It can be used by technicians for diagnostics and troubleshooting. It doesn't matter if there are two people or a family of six camping in the RV. With industry best features like Suburban's exclusive two-stage modulating combustion system, you have access to an instant and endless supply of hot water in your RV. You just turn the IW60 on, open a faucet, and within seconds there's hot water just like at home. And the IW60 comes with a two-year warranty. For more information on the Suburban IW60 on-demand water heater, visit www.ericcell.com. Happy camping.